Hello. <laughs> Gabe, next Halloween tutorial. Um, okay, so this look is uh, Billy, I think he's called, the, the jigsaw puppet from the film Saw, film The Saw. Um, it's, this one's a fairly basic makeup, except I've added a prosthetic chin. I mean, you don't have to do that, it's just I felt like it needed something to make the face look a bit, little bit longer. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's not a lot else I can say about this look. If you like the tutorial, make sure to rate and thumbs up Jobby and um, to comment and subscribe and all that jazz, you know the drill. Um, and also check out my Facebook page in the links below if you fancy it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. <laughs> okay, so I've already blocked my eyebrows out. Just see this video here and um, the first few minutes of this video to see how to do that, okay? Um, I'm going to start by applying fake chin. And um, now the reason I'm doing this is two reasons. One, I've, obviously I've got a beard, so... And the other reason is... Yeah, I just want the chin to look a bit extended. Because it's got this, like, a ventriloquist dummy type thing, isn't it? Yeah. I'm using one that's made out of foam latex. I've, I've, the only reason I'm doing this is because I've had this a long time and sitting around and, and I've finally got a chance to use it. So, <laughs> you guys don't have to do that. I mean, you can... I mean, you don't have to use anything there. You, just, you, you can do a whole lot of shading. Or, I mean, you could just um, use, like, latex and tissue, just, to, just a few layers of that to extend it. Okay, so I'm going to start by applying some Pro Stick or Prosade to the area where I'm going to be sticking the latex chin. And I'm not going to put it in my beard because that's gross. I'm just going to put it around. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and it, so I know it's dry when it goes clear. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to coat the inside of my phone piece with latex, with latex, with um, Pro Stick. Okay, so once that dried, I went in and applied a second coat. And now that's pretty much me dry, so I'm just going to apply the prosthetic. Now the edges aren't that thin on this piece, so I'm going to use these latex to blend it outwards. Okay, okay, so now that's all stuck down and it's all secure and dried, I'm going to start covering my face in the white. Now I'm using Snazaroo Clown White, just because I like how easy it goes on and it doesn't go too patchy because you don't have to put water to it. But I am going to mix it with um, some uh, liquid foundation. I'm using MAC number NW15, but it doesn't really matter. The only reason I'm using this is because it, I don't know, it, just, it mixes really well. I mean, I'm not going for skin colour, I'm going for white, but so I'm just going to literally like, say like three parts of this to one part of this kind of thing, so a tiny amount. But it makes it go more smooth on the skin, and it doesn't like, dry out and start cracking and all that jazz. But yeah, I'm literally using about that much, if you can see that, so a tiny bit of the uh, foundation and quite a bit of the white. I'm just going to mix that together. Okay, so when you're done, you should have something that looks like that. So just like a really, really creamy face paint, basically. Okay, so I'm going to cover the whole of my face with this. Okay, I just realised something. I was so distracted by recording that I've completely forgotten to um, blend out my chin. Um, not a big problem for most of you guys because you probably won't be using a fake chin today. Um, I've just <laughs> I stopped here so I could do it. But I'm gonna, if you are doing something with a fake chin and latex, I'm basically taking a, a clean sponge and I'm just dipping it in some liquid latex and I'm going to apply it straight to the edges, quite thick. So it's, when I run my finger across it, it's smooth. Once it's dry, obviously. Okay, so once that's dry, I did about four coats in the end, just to make it even. <laughs> Can you girls in the background? Um, okay, so now I'm just going to colour the piece. I went, obviously I wouldn't finish off my face paint. I did uh, about two coats in this just to make it even. I'm going to powder it afterwards anyway. So. When it comes to colouring over latex, don't, don't stroke it across, just dab it, because otherwise it will start peeling off and flaking and it's gross. I don't want that. Hmm. Okie okay, dokie, okay. now I'm going to start on some shading. Okay, so I'm going to take my Snazaroo Black watercolour and I'm just going to take a tiniest, tiny bit of water on that. Okay, I'm just going to mark really thinly where I want the shaded areas to be. Okay, so it doesn't matter how neat this is because I'm going to go at it with some shading afterwards and blending techniques and all that jazz. This is just like a rough guideline. So I'm going to now do some cheeks. Rather than have prosthetics, I'm just going to do like a shading effect. So I'm going to take off all that colour because I want hardly any.
So basically, just enough that I can rub it away if I did something wrong, like I did there. <laughs> That's another good thing about using the my foundation and um, clown white method. Everything's blendable, which is why I've not powdered yet. Because once you powder it, that's it. Okay, so then I just I didn't add any more colour. I just swirled it around, just, just blend it completely. And so when you look at it from head on, you need to start getting these round cheek shapes. And I went in and down my tip of my nose because I'm gonna be making my nose a lot thinner as well. Okay, and I'm gonna go along my jawline. Okay, so I carried on just making it look like the jaws are lower, so I coloured this whole area. Okay, so I actually changed the shape a little bit. After looking at the pictures, I wanted to move the cheek over a little bit, so... Um, basically, all I did was, because as I said, cause it's a cream, you can easily cover it. I'm going to go... it doesn't matter if it starts tainting the white, because I'm going to go over it afterwards with some black cream or some black eyeshadow and just make it look more shaded and old and all that jazz. So like that. Okay, so and then start flicking outwards so you get this kind of shape going on okay and I'm doing I'm not adding any more black all I'm doing is using the brush that I used to add the black and I'm just blending it now the way this illusion works is it has to be really 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 clean and pure white in the highlighted area so the circle now because I mixed my foundation the white foundation with um, the white and another colour so the foundation using the white on its own should stand out yes it's just a little bit whiter so I'm just going to colour in the circle with that not going too close to the edges because I'm not done making it neat yet ok so it should start looking like this ok so then I'm just going to get a tiny bit of black and just put it on my finger just like that and I'm going to lightly tap it in it's easier to blend with your finger on this kind of cream base. Okay, just blend it out as far as you can until it's until you see no harsh line, basically. Okay, and then I'm just going to blend that out. So the same method all over really. I'm just going to shade the highlight, the, the darkened areas, and highlight with the white. And we'll do the same method on the side of my nose, put a tiny bit of black on each side. And I'm gonna blend it downwards and then outwards. And then highlight down the centre of my nose. If you feel like you don't, you can't blend with your fingers, or your fingers are too big, or whatever, you can always blend with a dry brush with no colour on it. You can just literally move the colour to where you want it to go. If your foundation or the white that you're using isn't creamy or blendy, blending at all, you can always use a black eyeshadow to highlight these areas and just taper it off. Blend the chin upwards. Okay, so then I'm going to take my black watercolour and I'm going to start on the eyes. It's going to cover my eyelids in this. Okay, and then I'm going to start sketching the shape that I want. Okay, I've just drawn a fine line above this so I can make it look like the illusion of a big eyebrow muscle, but this is what you see is driving in there. Film, so, and I'm just going to blend this one up. Remember, when it like the cheeks, want it to be really white in the centres. Okay, so then I went in above my eyebrow and coloured in with the pure white, with no mixtures in, just up until the point where it's shaded. To get these frown lines, or just just if you make that face, just make the frowny face, <laughs> and just trace the line. Like that. It just does not matter at all about being neat because you're going to blend it anyway. So, so that, and you want to blend it outwards. So you want this area here to be white. You can actually just probably pull it around like that, and then blend that outwards. And I can just go in the centre after that and just highlight it. 
Okay, and then I'm going to take a new dry brush and I'm going to blend the edges just really, really lightly of the eye. So it's got like a little smoky effect. Okay, I'm then going to take some MAC Black, I think it's called Black Track Fluid Line, and I'm just going to go in the inside of my eyelid, eyelid on the inside of my fluid line rather than just colour that in. Okay, then I'm going to take my Snazaru Red, and I think you know what's going to happen now. Um, I'm going to take a really, really fine, 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 fine brush. A little bit that fine. <laughs> I can't really show you how I'm doing this, guys, because it's just, I mean, I've got the least steady hand in the world, it's really hard for me, so, um, but it's, it's just one swirl coming outwards, that's all I can say, really. Okay, next, I'm going to take a bigger brush, and take the same red, and I'm just going to start on my lips. Now with this, it seems to go outwards, so that's there, but there's no lip shape, there's no cupid's bar or anything like that, it's just like a straight line. Okay, so I popped some contact lens, red contact lenses in as well, just to give it a look a bit more, yeah, scariness. <laughs> and I'm just going to use some fake blood. You don't have to do this, this is just me going off on a tangent and making things a bit creaky. Um, you see my uh, blood for Gene Bride video, if you want to know how to learn how to make your own blood, basically. I'm just going to cover this because it's edible, this blood, so. Over the red. Okay, I'm just put my wig on. Um, I decided against powdering in the end because I'm liking this, you can't really see in this slide, but because the cream base is giving off a really nice shine, a really plasticky look. Okay, so I finished off the look with a white shirt, a blazer and <laughs> a bow tie. I don't actually have a bow tie, because um, I don't wear them. I just have a red tie, so I try to make it like a bow. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just pretend that isn't there for now. Um, but yeah, that's the look. I would have coloured my neck, but as usual, I just I, I don't usually go beyond my neck most of the time, because it's easy for me to get off afterwards. If you was going out, I would definitely recommend having it your neck wine, maybe some white gloves or whatever he has in the film, I can't remember. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and until next time, bye! <laughs> bye.